What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel and today we're here for another new episode of our Madden 21 Detroit Lions Franchise Mode Episode I, 29, 28, 29, somewhere, it's, it's one of them days people, it's one of them days where as soon as I loaded this up I was tired, you know I'm trying to drink the best energy drink on the market, Monster Chaos, it's called Chaotic or something Either way, I was like, ah, it's gonna be one of them days, man. Probably not gonna be the best gameplay video, which, you know, it's already hit or miss anyways when you click on my stuff. And then I was like, oh yeah, we have the X Factor scenario here for, for old Spencer Rattler. So that's gonna be pretty fun. How do we get that scenario? Well, he went off last week against the Kansas City Chiefs with four total touchdowns, 400 plus total yards. It's well deserved. That we now have an opportunity against a team that we played and unfortunately lost to in the Super Bowl last year, the 5 and 3 Cleveland Browns, to take our quarterback's game to the next level. I'm gonna make sure, I'm not even gonna take that because I 100%. It's one of those days that I'm gonna open this right now, talk about some stuff, go into the game, and forget what I need to do. So, miscellaneous at this point, we're looking at some contracts. I think we got old Cephas. Absolutely going to give Quintez Cephas at least a contract extension. And damn, right, he's taking whatever money you want. He's a humble player. He's a team player. Wants to be about this team's life. Other than that, uh, again, you know, we look at the rest of these players. Uh, on the fence about Jonah Jackson, I think that will probably be like, if we don't win the Super Bowl, it's going to a year four for Detroit. Then we can look at bringing back Jonah Jackson. I'm not in any rush. Um, I mean, tail of the tape, I suppose, could be worth looking at for the 7-1 Detroit Lions. Not necessarily us. I will eventually recap all of our season stats. Maybe, maybe at the end of this episode, depending on how fast we go. But I do want to see the Cleveland Browns and where they're at because they are the reigning defending Super Bowl champions. And looking at it right now, Baker Mayfield, a lot of turnovers. 21 touchdowns, 8 picks, throwing. Am I controlling the Browns? Those are that's a C4 level of interceptions at this point in the season. Uh, 71 yards per game, uh, 71 yards on the ground per game for Nick Chubb, which is actually kind of underwhelming for him. Receiving Austin Hooper, so they're feeding it a lot to the tight end in the offense, which is annoying. But again, that's where we've gone, and you know we lost in the Super Bowl to the Browns. We knew what they were good at, work in the middle of the field. So we went out and improved the middle of the field with the linebacker additions, with the safety additions, Minkovich, Patrick, Chauncey Gardner, Johnson. Ronnie Harrison moving in the linebacker. OBJ solid, but I'm not seeing I'm not seeing anyone absolutely going off on this offense defensively. Uh, Miles Garrett's gonna Miles Garrett. I mean they got talent for sure, but I I'm seeing this as a game that if we can control Miles Garrett, we can force Baker Mayfield into the turnovers that he's already been throwing this season. Things should work out fairly well for us. So I'm actually getting a piece of paper here because I already know again it's one of them days. Even now that I saved it for last. I would 100% forget what I need to do here. So Spencer Rattler, and he's already sitting on that superstar dev. We want that X factor. We need it 350 yards total, four tutties, zero INT, and the win. I know the last time I would have had a scenario like this for my quarterback, I think I got everything but the win. I personally feel like the win shouldn't matter. I, I, I think, you know, I would like to see if you told me, C4, what could you adjust to that dev trade scenario going into Madden 22's franchise mode? I would say have that exact same thing, but don't mess. The win's a team thing. You know, the, I could absolutely, I could go for 550 yards, eight touchdowns, no picks. My defense is terrible, and yet my quarterback still didn't do good enough to get the dead. You know, I feel like you should probably eliminate the win from that threshold, but it is what it is. We are going to try and take Spencer Rattler's game to the next level. Get that final push that we need to win the Super Bowl this year. We are going to play this game against Cleveland, sim the game against the Raiders, and hopefully we're all said and done, end this episode 9-1. and one. Oh, I got picked that off. Opening drive. You know, I would say right now my mental capacity is like I could focus and go all in on getting all of those boxes ticked for Rattler's X Factor. But to put that with a great defensive effort, Against a tough Cleveland Browns team. It's a tall task right now. Third and ten. Let's go off the field here. Force a punt. Get some pressure. So far, gr ah, wide open. Wide open, man. Great job from the Cleveland Browns offensive line right now. I will say I'm looking at this. I haven't seen Nick Chubb out there. Probably should have looked at They're down Denzel Ward, which is great for Spencer Rattler. And they're also down Nick Chubb, which in turn, as this game goes on, should be great for our defense. Second and ten. I was like, man, why is this Walker guy getting so many reps over Nick Chubb? And uh, unfortunately, Mr. Chubb has significant injury. Get there! Nice TFL, Olympic Neal. Probably should have been a sack. Get caught. 
lift, man. Get some pressure. It's gonna be a very long day, Chubb or not, if we cannot put Baker Mayfield under pressure. Oh, Van Ganks. Van Ganks getting home, nice. Hits him with that Rugrats celebration. Tommy Pickles, what up? Second and long coming up. Get Drake Jackson this time. See if we can get the youngster involved. The young gun out of USC. Oh, almost a pass break. Is that a first down? I think that's still short, right? Third and 11. Chance to bend, not break. Baker Mayfield in his X Factor, which is, you know, never, you, know you don't want to see that on the opening drive of the game. You'd like to at least have a couple drives of him trying to figure it out. But it's these checkdowns over the middle. What am I? I'm just going to have to be the linebacker here. I want to be Van Ginkle. I want to apply pressure. But it's just, if I'm controlling Fred Warner, all of their big first downs might not exist. We're getting worked by a Browns offense missing their best player. They're defending Super Bowl chance for a reason. It honestly couldn't be any easier for them. Fucking ridiculous. All right, the important thing to know is that one interception and it's all down the drain. So if like, you throw a pick like early in the first quarter, uh, it's definitely going to be incredibly underwhelming for the remainder of the game. So let's be a little protective of the football here. Don't know why we're going no huddle. Definitely didn't press any button. We can get scrambling yards. It's total. It's total yards. Rushing yards also count towards that 350 threshold we need to hit. A third and four here midfield. I'm not going to lie, man. This is not feeling like a great time. But we are able to go to Cephas. We are able to keep this drive alive. I think I'm bite on the play action here, which Miles Garrett doesn't. It's not even Miles Garrett. It's JOK. Saw the star. Thought of for sure it was Miles Garrett. It's just that other star playmaker that they have in their front seven. Second and 18. We need four touchdowns. So usually we're an offense, especially when we get in the red zone with DeAndre Swift. We like to punch it in. Gonna have to just go with the QB here today. As bad drop by Amara St. Brown. Probably should have brought that in. Third and long. It's looking like a tough old matchup here. Why is he so slow? Like that's that right there. Whatever that was is like the dumbest thing in Madden. As this is the opening drive of the game. And my star quarterback with like mid-80 speed is just sucking ass, sucking wind. Fit that in there. Fit that in. And of course there's the fucking drop, man. Oh, I hate every time something good potentially could happen in this series. Just unexplicable garbage and cheese happens. I'm only, I don't even like, oh, I only want to play offense right now. Let's see what happens. If we can give... Let's skip now. I want to see if the defense can get off the field here. Like a super long drive. There. Thank God. I ain't got time for fucking defense right now. Like. <laughs> uh, oh, he should have been open. Wide open. Easy pass. Darius Slate was wide open and Rattler's overthrowing. And again. Just shenanigans. Go make that grab finally. I mean, they don't have Dan's award, they're missing their best shutdown corner. We should be throwing it all over them. Cephas, keep it going. No way. Was that Miles Garrett? Like 30 some yards in coverage. Gets the fuck. And then my guy caught that. That was a pick. Yeah, gotta, gotta, get, gotta have to go to the replay on this. What is going on? I literally just thought, I, like, I was like, all right, that's great. Lead him just a little bit in this direction. That's that's like that's a touchdown, and yet we over we underthrow it. Dude goes up for it. Uh, 
Uh, I mean, feels like it's one of them games. Those will go for us. Those will go against us. And hopefully when all said done, when the dust settles, we have a shiny new dev trade for our quarterback. That's all I can say. How's that not a pick? How's that not a pick? Be shit out of me. Second and goal. See if I can get another catch through some human, another dude's body here. We'll go Cephas. Easy does it. Touchdown. One of four on the day. Third and short. Chance to get out the field. Ooh, back him up. False start. Five free yardage. After a false start, it is third and seven. Brown side of the field. Getting stonewalled. They go, what? I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. If you guys are expecting, I'm not playing defense. If that's literally what this game is going to be. Is every single time I'm not the middle linebacker, there's just a guy wide open in the middle of the field. I, I ain't got time for it. Ain't got time for it. I'm playing offense all in this game. It's not something that I'm changing for this series. Just It's just one of them days. And all I care about is the I don't like I don't care about playing defense. So uh, let's do it, man. Second and ten, we got Slayton slants cheese. Looking for the twentieth touchdown of the season for Mr. Rattler. I'll just take off on the ground again. Ground yardage also goes to our total. So if we can get again another 40, 50 yards on the ground, makes it just life a little bit more easier. Third and three screen pass DeAndre Swift time. I've yet to cash this one in. Maybe we can catch the defense by surprise. It's fairly well executed. The blocking is better. Oh, the blocking's a lot better than it usually is. And we're able to take that in to Brown's territory. Real deep. Real deep in there. Oof. Good pressure there. Derek Barnett, the former Philadelphia Eagle. Get a big time sack there on Spencer Rattler. Oh, that's a touch. That gotta be a touchy. That gotta be in the back of the end zone on Monra St. Brown. I would argue of all the skill position players, he's the one guy that we're waiting to have that like, wow, that guy's a freak. That guy's a big time player moment. And unfortunately he hasn't been able, he's had some, you know, here or there, it just hasn't been consistent. But every now and again, at least we know he's the type of player that can give you those moments of greatness. Second touchdown of the game for Spencer Rattler, right on pace to hit all of our marks. Oh, that's a quick turnover. A quick turnover. Thanks, CPU. Man, I almost want to go to St. Brown again. We got the slants cheese. This is what Coach wanted. Right in the back corner of the end zone. Darius Slayton. Touchdown number three for those counting at home. Man, this whole not playing defense really working out for us today. Two back back runs to start off the second half where we get the first ball. Um, third and three. Good response here from the Browns defense so far. Oh. JOK's good. I still can't, I'm still very upset Philadelphia selected Landon Dickerson. Even if Landon Dickerson's good and JOK is good. And it's one of those things I like at the end of the day, you know, both teams should be happy. I'm still not gonna be happy because that should have been our player. JOK should have been a Philadelphia Eagle. Browns kick a field goal. We still got the lead. We'll say the one thing that we are missing is like the big splash play, like the 70 some yarder, just to pad those stats a little bit. Um, but things like that happen where it's no man's land, 50 50 balls could just as easily turn into an interception. And we really don't want any of those. There we go. That's how they fucking drop in that. Like no, no one's re like outside of St. Brown making that touchdown grab. No one on this offense is really like going out of their way to help the QB here. I'm so angry right now. I mean, we had to bail on that play. We throw it into no man's. Like, it probably also could have been a pick. This is not good, man. This is, I want, it's, yeah. Defense gets a stop. Just slants it? Can I just slants my, I, I want to, uh, 
I don't just want to slice my way to the, to the dev trade because I, I can't hold my head up high and proud of what we accomplished. But it's, it's like pulling teeth right now, man. No other way around it. Like, we need a bomb. We have got to get a big time, long ass touchdown. And they're just, they're not, it's not in the cards today. Browns defense, I mean, this is a team that just won the Super Bowl. They're very good, even without Denzel Ward. Hey, there's the there's the most support we've got so far in this game. Double Spencer Rattler, Suell giving us an extra 10 yards that we can try to get through the air here. That's how bad it's been here today. Like, does the running back like can 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 anybody? This is I'm so angry and frustrated right now because this should be a good time. This should be me flexing, being excited about what my QB can do. And literally, it's like one of the most disappointing performances I've had from my offense all year long. Third and three. Like, we just, we, I don't even need a touchdown. I don't even need a touchdown in this drive. I just need some more fucking yards, man. Here we go. Here we go. I slant. I'm at this point, man. No prisoners. I will fuck. I will slant this into the goddamn ground to get this down. I'm not letting this game this way. We're like inexplicably, no one's playing good. <laughs> but it's like the most important. Hey, can we just kind of play good game of the year? Um, you gotta do what it takes. And we need again. Just gotta get a touchdown here. Gotta be all on the armor, Spencer Rattler. And we'll have our 350. We'll have our four touchdowns, and we'll have our victory. Two minute warning. Okay. Let's gut it. Let's appreciate the dev trade and forget this game ever happened. I want to get a garbage time touchdown. This game is so frustrating. Give me something that just. Get in there. Fuck yeah. Suck it, Browns. Look at the highlights here 34 13. Ugly game. You know, 58% complete, but we got the four touchdowns. We had 300, and we'll round that up, 330 plus 40 yards on the guy. No, we got 370-ish, which is great. 83 yards, touchdown DeAndre Swift. Um, was a collective effort. No one really had like, huge plays for the Detroit Lions, but really everyone got involved. And defensively, nine, what? Three picks, Fred Warner? I'm glad I shifted off. See, again, we already knew they were working the middle of the field, and all it took was apparently the CPU to make the proper adjustments. Three interceptions by the best linebacker in Madden. Let's go Lions. And we could get a little bit of revenge from that Super Bowl loss last season. And there we go, the moment we worked for. Breakout, a quarterback scenario. Never doubted Spencer Rattler for a second. How does it feel to have the best quarterback? One of the best, and look at that dev trait upgrade. Suppose we should figure out what uh, ability we want him to have now. I guess we could toss that one up to the comment section. I do not play. I don't know. Surprise, surprise. I have not played with a lot of X-Factor quarterbacks. I can tell you right now, given the athletic display we had with Spencer Rattler when we were scrambling, freight train is certainly not what we need. Uh, we definitely want faster passing animations. Um, have perfect throws on all unpressured throws while their feet are set outside the pocket. Well, can we get something a little bit better than this? Pocket dead, I know. I'm not really that. Uh, easily enter the zone in the second half. Eh, anchored extender. Oh, hot road and block twice as fast. Oh, we gotta go tight out. And then the X-Factor ability, I don't know. Omaha, when they enter the zone, they, like this might be my first X-Factor quarterback in Madden 21. Uh, when they are this zone, they have full vision of the secondary's coverage before the snap. That sounds pretty good. But, like, what's the actual, like... It's almost... I want the ones that are the easiest ones to achieve. When they enter this zone, they have perfect accuracy while throwing on the run. That actually sounds kind of... Omaha and run and gun sound good. Omaha sounds like the best. Run and gun sounds like it's maybe... That one also seems pretty good. 
When they enter the zone, they can't be intercepted and having, oh, we gotta go with that, right? Let me know in the comments section below what ability we, I'm thinking Gambler for, um, sorry. Uh, Gambler, Omaha, and whatever that one was here, running gun. Which of these three would be the best X Factor ability to have for Spencer Rattler? Let me know in the comment section right now. And then let's get into that Week 10 Raiders game. Finish this thing out 2-0, undefeated, and on to the next episode. So before we get to the Raiders game, got to give full credit to Fred Warner. Three picks of Baker Mayfield, nine tackles last week. Got him the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Raiders 4-4, four four, not the best squad. I do, like, just because I haven't been keeping an eye on their roster. What do they got for, like, their playmakers? No X Factors. They got Carlton Davis, formerly of the Bucks. Henry Ruggs, John Abram, and Corey Littleton as their superstars. So they're not overpowered by any means, but they're not a bad team. 82 overall is not a bad base, but I am very, very confident that our win streak will continue and we'll get that ninth win of the season here. It's home game too. If it's on the road, you know, maybe you could be like, hey, Detroit Lions, you get, you get old Dan Campbell on the road in Vegas. Probably not a lot of sleep. The preparation might not be ideal, but this is a home game at Ford Field. There's nothing to do in Detroit except prepare and get ready for that game. So we're up 14-3 here in the first half. Not exciting game by any means, holding to another field goal. So our defense is being stingy, but our offense is also being stingy as the Raiders were able to get a touchdown, two-point conversion, tie this one up at 14 in the third quarter. We settle for a field goal. This offense has been non-existent since the first quarter, but you only have to be good when it counts. In the end, we get the touchdown with under a minute to go. Our defense just needs to get a stop here. And we're going to get the dump. And we just do that. Not a great performance. John Gruden's shoulders are real creepy looking. But that's, that's the victory we needed. Not the best kind of showcase of our new X-Factor quarterback. But the Sim is the Sim. And we I'll take the win. 24-21. We're still a one-loss squad. A very good spot to be. No turnovers for Spencer Rattler. 223 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. 54 yards and a touchdown from DeAndre Swift. Uh, 95 yards of a touchdown for Cephas. I, I, I'm shocked this guy is not going to dev trade scenario yet. Uh, defensively, um, nothing too, too crazy. Two TFLs, Mo Hurst and a sack against his former team. Van Ginkle, second half. Fred Warner got a sack, but he also picked up an injury. Okay, uh, going to have to check out that injury. This could be a, a okay win with a massive blow potentially when we see the severity of this. So we come up from the game with these upgrades, right? We got an upgrade here for goggles. Let's work on his power. You know, I feel like we could hit a couple more seven. I think we can get a 70 yarder. And I love it when I upgrade power and I only get accuracy. We got the upgrade here for Spencer Rattler. Now up to an 88 with the confidence boost. Strong arm QB. Got the plus one throw power, which is huge. Taking him up to 96. But then we also get the slap in the face of Fred Warner here. Getting the upgrade. Now a 99. Welcome to the 99 club. But is he hurt or is he going to be okay? I'm not seeing the injury tag. So maybe, oh, that's good, man. That was only for that week. We didn't play Levi on Wuzuriki on the, the defensive line. So maybe he'll be back for that Dallas game. 100% healthy. No, no risk of, yeah, he is. Nice. I'll take that. Nine and one. That's a big time game here. We'll probably sim Dallas, play that Bears game just to kind of solidify the division here. Bears are the only team that have a potential chance, like even mathematically, of catching us. A victory for us there would kind of you know, lock up the division. Even though I don't like missing opportunities to take Dallas down, I, I think it's just the smarter decision there. Uh, plus it's at 12.30 p.m., so what is that? That's like Thanksgiving? Is that Thanksgiving? I don't know, but that'll do it for me today, guys. Got ourselves a brand new dev trade for Spencer Rattler in the episode. That was our main goal, as well as going 2-0. We achieved both of those. No serious injury. To, uh, to, to to Warner there, which is great. And things are setting themselves up for a very good episode here. We're probably going to start stacking these maybe every day, every other day. I'm going to try and get them out every day because got to get going, man. Madden, Madden 22 season has started. We don't want this to kind of carry over into that. So uh, maybe tomorrow in your sub boxes, you see another episode for the Detroit Lions. I don't know yet. But thank you guys for everyone that has been digging this series. As always, if you're first stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment in the comment section below. But what ability! Should I be rocking and rolling with here with Spencer Rattler? And I'll see you guys back on the next one. Thanks for watching and peace out.